right, we're back in Stockholm now for a little quick Sweden visit. Um, as I said, we're going to be racing a lot of cars in this episode, but first off, I need to uh, make sure that I do well before I get to race cars and have fun. So we're going to go and uh, hit the water ramps in Stockholm for a little quickie before we get in the really fast cars and go to Gotland. The only problem with being kind of obsessed with cars is that I don't really own the car that fits skis that well. The, my most practical car that I own is the Lamborghini Gallardo, which we're in right now. And it's not really that easy to fit skis in it, but luckily the water ramp skis are short, so we're, we're good for now. But for this winter, I think I need ski racks. But um, oh yeah, I'm gonna just show you a little quickie from Stockholm, uh, what the ramps look like here. They're not as super nice as the Mekmerstadt ones with the pool and everything. We, kind of jump into the water in these or the ocean but it's um, it does the job for me so a little quickie on the water ramps and then off to some nice pleasure on the, uh, the racetrack Well, the original plan on this episode was to uh, show a lot of cars, but it kind of changed my mind. I thought I'd just show you what a regular session on the uh, Busan water amps looks like. So I'm just going to, you know, yeah, show you pretty much, you know, how I start off with smaller jumps to kind of warm my body up and then hit this little bigger one and try to learn something and how I'm uh, getting colder and colder. So, yeah, today's just documentary style. Oh, that was kind of sweet. It wasn't that cold as I, I thought it would be, but it's not warm either. Well, the point of the jumps that I'm doing right now is to get better at rodeos. I'm pretty good at fives, but my seven and nines are not as good. So while I'm warming up for a couple doubles, might as well do a couple rodeos and try to get good at them. So I got more tricks because I like having a lot of tricks, but they, they're not as good as they need to be. So got to go again. Well, that was uh, a nice little five jumps for warm up. That's what I normally do. It's actually kind of successful. I uh, haven't really been doing rodeos with truck drivers or Buero, I think that's what TJ calls the tweak truck driver. It actually it was pretty fun. I'm pretty satisfied. So now I got to go and uh, do a couple doubles. Normally I'm, I'm pretty intimidated by this kicker, but after the other ramps, doesn't look that big, it almost looks fun. Although it is kind of windy and my ears are getting really cold. But these uh, semi-dry wetsuits keeping me fairly warm. Not sweating though.
Oh, I hate these stairs. I've done them way too many times. I'm actually wearing them out. Oh, another day, another 11 jumps. Not 100% happy with the last couple ones, but that's probably because I'm kind of tired and it was a long day yesterday with flying and traveling and stuff, but at least, you know, it feels good in my head. I, I know how to do that Kangi 10 and probably 12 too. So I am excited, but tired. for this uh, session. It was a pretty good one. It's not every day that I actually learn something new. Most of the days out there I just kind of try to fine tune my tricks, but today I did something I haven't done before, so I'm pretty excited. Now we're um, on our way to go to the garage to get another car, but before we, before we show you that update, we are, um, I am going to talk a little bit about water amps, because a lot of people, they keep asking me why I like water amps so much, why do I keep spending time up there and not in the snow and it's basically because these days I've got so much work with sponsors, events and actually trying to catch up with people that I know and you know family that kind of stuff so it's just a very convenient way of actually getting some skiing in in the fall and maintaining the business that I try to do so now you know why you don't also spend time in also spends tons of time in a water amp. Plus, not to forget, I think it's pretty damn fun to be upside down, very, very high up. And I can't find that anywhere else in the world. 